Hello, this is Stuart Mackey of the Social Media Video Podcast, and today we're going to learn how to add a page manager to Google+. First of all, there's two ways that you can manage your page on Google+. First is you go to the page, and at the top there'll be this button that says manage this page and you can simply click that and then you'll be acting and interacting with google plus as the page the other way to do it is if you go up here to your profile picture in the upper right hand corner and you click that all of your other uh, personalities pages etc will show up here on the left or underneath so i want to and it'll say google plus page so if there's another one that you're managing that doesn't show up you can add that here so i'm going to click social media video podcast and now you can see by the profile pic that I am logged in as the social media and if you mouse over it it says Google Plus page otherwise it would say your Gmail address associated with the account so I'm now on this page the reason why it's important to be able to add managers to your Google Plus page is it's also the people that manage your YouTube channel so if you are having a outsourcing some video production to a video production company or maybe you have a virtual assistant doing some of your video editing for you you want them to be able to post posts to your page and also do your video and you can do that by posting a video here but more often i post it directly to youtube which will be a future episode we'll talk about how to post a video to youtube and how to really optimize your search engine optimization on youtube but that is for another show so in order to add managers, you go up here to the profile in the upper left-hand corner and you click Dashboard. And these are the controls for your page and your channel and also where you can create a post. So you can create a post here. You can start a hangout with people that are your followers. You can see your stats, which again, this is why you need to set up a proper business page, whether it's Google Plus or Facebook, is a personal profile is not going to show you these analytics. You can also connect your Google Plus page to your Google Analytics account, which will uh, allow you to track all your stats from your site and your Google Plus page and everything all from one place. So Google Plus, because they're Google, really has some major advantages. So you scroll down a little bit and you can see stats from your YouTube channel, which again is why it's important to have a YouTube channel set up correctly with your Google Plus. It's one place to see all of these things together. And then you can see over here that I already have a few people that are page managers. So I am going to click View All Managers. So in order to add a page manager, you click Add Page Managers, and you can either start typing their Gmail name, your their Gmail address, or their Google Plus name. If they're in Google Plus, you can type the email. Their profile will come up, and you, and then you can set a level. Now this is very much like. On Facebook, there's just not quite as many levels. So a manager is full control, and a communications manager just allows posts. So I'm going to make this person a communications manager and click Invite. And then you can see that they're gray here, and it says Invited. So what I'll do is I'll open another browser. So here we are in my Gmail. I've received the invite, and it says I've been invited to become a communications manager of the page name on Google+. And so I just click become a manager and it opens a new tab and it asks you to confirm this accept as and then your name and you click accept. All right, so I can click manage page and now I see is it if you go to the dashboard, you can see I don't have as many things. I see I can create a post. I see notifications about things that have been one up or plus from the page and I can see the other managers and I can click view all managers, but I cannot add another manager. So if you, that is really the right way to add another manager, unless it's someone else that you want to have full control. Like for instance, I've often created a Google plus with a different Gmail account uh, by mistake, not paying attention to which user I was logged in as. So I had to basically add myself as a manager from another address. Another thing, let's uh, switch back to the other. So here we are back as the master owner. I'm logged in as the page, as the owner account, and you'll see all the other users, including the new one I added. So, but you'll see their, their type listed underneath. 
And if you look, there's this little down triangle. If you click that, you're given a few options. You can change our level of control from manager to communications manager or back, depending on what they are. You can also transfer the ownership to another user. So for instance, I, since I often create accounts for people, I can set up their account. I would be the owner. And then I would add the client as a page manager. And then I could later transfer ownership to the actual page owner and let them have full control. If, for instance, they didn't want me to manage it anymore and they wanted to take me off, that'd be the way to do it. So that is how you do it. So that is the basics of page management on Google+. If you'd like to learn more about how to manage your social media to grow your business and to generate leads, you can visit socialmediavideopodcast.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes by visiting the iTunes link on the homepage, or you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Google+, etc. So thank you for watching the Social Media Video Podcast. Have a great day.